888-971-SAGE, 888-971-7243. Man, so much to cover. Didn't the weekend seem like it went by quickly? I recall reading when I was a kid how slowly time seems to go when you're a child, but how quickly it seems to go when you get older. And I think it's because when you get older, you just have less, less, less of it to waste. And therefore, it seems more precious. Maybe that's it. We are going to be talking about a number of things today. Kobe Bryant, the great basketball player, now retired, no question will be a Hall of Famer, says if he were playing, he would protest the national anthem. Really? This is a guy who was credibly accused of rape. Let's remember that. Paid a settlement, wrote a letter of apology. The country graciously forgave him. The media never brings it up. And you're telling me that if you played, you'd be taking the knee on the national anthem, even though the NBA rules requires players to stand? Really? What can I say? Mamba out. We will be talking about that. Uh Uh-oh. Trump haters. The president's popularity approval rating is approaching nearly the big 5-0, at least under the Rasmussen poll. Republicans are now saying Democrats knew that their memo was going to be rejected by the president because it contained sources and methods. That way they could then accuse the president of engaging in hypocrisy by approving the Republican memo but turning down the Democratic memo. We'll be talking about that as well. The big news, however, is the puff piece that NBC is granting the sister of Kim Jong-un. She is, I understand it, Minister of Propaganda. This is Arguably the most brutal regime on the face of the earth. North Koreans literally are four inches shorter than South Koreans because of deprivation. A satellite flying over North Korea would see a country at night completely dark because they have got no electricity. People are starving in order to pay for their military. I've always been amused when people talk about how many people we have behind bars here in America. We have more people behind bars than any other country, blah, 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 blah. We hear that all the time. Really? You trust the numbers that we're getting out of North Korea? You trust the numbers we're getting out of Cuba? You trust the numbers we're getting out of communist China? You really think those regimes imprison fewer people than we imprison per capita? Really? Really? Well, here's what NBC said about the sister of Kim Kim. Uh, Kim uh, Kim Jong Un. Her name is Kim Yo Young. Kim Yo Jong's every move is being filmed, analyzed, judged. Three days of the world's media running after the sister of North Korean leader Kim Jong Un, and still we know very little about the woman who has stolen the headlines at the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. Stolen the headlines. <laughs> Stolen Believed the headlines. to be around 30 years old. Like Ivanka, the Ivanka Switz- Trump of North Korea. She's stolen the headlines. Switzerland, like her brother, and is the youngest of seven siblings, according to experts who follow the family closely. Of course, there's that torture thing that's happening, you know, political prisoners and starvation of their own people. But she's very similar to Ivanka Trump in other ways. What is clear is she has her brother's absolute trust, the first member of the Kim family to venture south since the Korean War in the 1950s. Also clear, she was the one in charge on this trip, as shown when 90-year-old Kim Yong-nam, senior by title and age, tried to give up the most prominent seat to her when they first arrived. <laughs> Kang Myung-do was the son-in-law of a former prime minister in North Korea. She's a rock star! She's a rock star! 1994, but is known Washington Post. Have... Washington Post said this, they marveled at, at her barely there makeup and her lack of bling. They commented on her plain black outfits and simple purse they noted the flower shaped clip that kept her hair back in a non in a no nonsense style you know like an afro or or not contacts with some of the elite inside the country as Kim Yo Jong is the only family member around him, he says it wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that Kim Jong Un rules. CNN the country. says Kim Jong Un's sister is stealing the show at the Winter Olympics. Yahoo says all swagger and smiles. Kim Jong Un's mysterious sister gets her star turned at the Winter Olympics. BBC Kim Jong Un's sister sweet but with a tomboy streak. Washington Post, the Ivanka Trunk of North Korea, captivates people in the South. Associated Press at Olympic Games, Kim Jong-un's sister takes VIP seat. 
the A to Z through her. That's why many North Korean officials see her as having a similar status. This is a country status. where the leading cause of death in young children, diarrhea and pneumonia, due to the country's lack of clean water. But I digress. To the North Korean leader, Kang says anyone who wants to meet Kim Jong Un has to go through his sister. Promoted last year to the Politburo, the senior body of North Korea's Communist Party, Kim Yo Jong manages his public events, often seen close to his side. So, what do South Koreans think of the first sister? You know what's next, of course, her own perfume line. This man says, "I hardly know anything about her, except that she has direct authority on the man at the top." She's the first one to come here from the Kim bloodline. This woman says, and she came instead of Kim Jong Un. I think things will improve now. What? No reality TV show? Not everyone agrees. Some South Koreans are furious that a relative of a man they see as the enemy has been welcomed into their country. She's not charming. She's the dictator's sister. I'm sure she is exactly like Kim Jong Un. She's not looking after the North Korean people. They, she doesn't hear about. A report from Paula. No, not everybody agrees. We are joined by one more witness to the ominous nature of this regime. His name is Mr. Ji Sung Ho. In 1996, Sung Ho was a starving boy in North Korea. One day, he tried to steal coal from a railroad car to barter for a few scraps of food, which were very hard to get. In the process, he passed out on the train tracks, exhausted from hunger. He woke up as a train ran over his limbs. He then endured multiple amputations without anything to dull the pain or the hurt. His brother and sister gave what little food they had to help him recover, and ate dirt themselves, permanently stunting their own growth. Later, he was tortured. By North Korean authorities, after returning from a brief visit to China, his tormentors wanted to know if he'd met any Christians. He had, and he resolved after that to be free. Sung Ho traveled thousands of miles on crutches all across China and Southeast Asia to freedom. Most of his family followed. His father was caught trying to escape and was tortured to death. Today, he lives in Seoul, where he rescues other defectors and broadcasts into North Korea what the regime fears most: the truth. Today, he has a new leg, but Sung Ho, I understand, you still keep. Those old crutches, as a reminder of how far you've come. Your great sacrifice is an inspiration to us all. Please, thank you. And of course, you recall him holding up his crutches in. What was clearly the most emotional part of that speech? Quite a distance we've come from recognizing the brutal nature of that regime during the State of the Union speech given by President Donald Trump to the gushing, flowing, fawning nature of the coverage of the sister of Kim Jong Un by NBC. When we come back, we will be talking about the dreamer. They went on television and criticized Senator Schumer and Nancy Pelosi for quote using us as pawns. This is a so-called dreamer who believes in border security and who actually is grateful that America hasn't tossed him out because he recognizes his status as an illegal alien. How refreshing! All that's coming up. Triple eight nine seven one S A G E I M. Larry Elder. Don't leave town. Traditional values, kind of arguments, and uh, strong foreign policy. All that's over. Larry Elder. All true.